Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in a Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my updated settings for Fortnite. I'm going to show you guys the settings that I run and also show you guys the best settings in my opinion and what I would recommend for you guys. Also as well, going to show you guys the binds and literally just every setting that I have. So if you guys are curious to see the settings that I have or that I would recommend, make sure you guys definitely stay to the end of the video because this video will help you guys out a ton. And real quick, before I get into the video, up on the screen, I have the V-Buck giveaway winner of this week. I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys want a chance to win free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and when I announce the giveaway winners. And lastly, make sure you guys do comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into my next giveaway. So if you want some free V-Bucks, make sure you guys do enter. And also, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code, my creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and support it as a creator and all right guys let's get right to the video all right so in this video i'm going to show you guys the best sensitivity and settings to use in fortnite so over the past two to three weeks they have nerfed aim assist a total of three times now all the three times the first one was they nerfed if you played above 60 frames they nerfed it down to 60 frames which is fine all right cool so that was the first one they did the second one is when they they gave a little bit of a buff to long range and they nerfed close range and then the third one was just a couple days after that they just nerfed everything again so they've literally nerfed amos's three times over the last two to three weeks which is pretty insane just because they just have a few keybot players crying and they hit they hit control players with a triple amos's nerf i mean that's absolutely insane but anyways i've had to change my i've changed my settings every single time that they've made a change to the game so the settings i have are the settings that i I currently use and for right now they're the best settings that i can find i still probably need to make a few adjustments just because I, honestly sometimes during when i live stream or when i just play by myself i really just some shots I, I just i just miss like i don't know like it's just so much different i really just have to get used to how everything feels but all the settings that i have are the settings i currently use and i think these are the best settings as of currently so going to my settings, I'm going to show you guys everything that I have. These as far as my colorblind settings, you guys can see all my graphic settings. I'm sure a lot of you guys play on console, but if you guys play on PC, this is just all the stuff that I have. Nothing too important here. If you guys want to know my colorblind, it was like the Tridenope on like 4 or something like that. But everything else pretty much is normal. Nothing else. Uh, nothing else. I have motion blur off. Of course, you want to have that off. It makes the game a lot harder to see. Nothing else in there. As far as my game settings, there's a few settings in here you guys want to change if you guys haven't already. So sprint by default, have that on. Obviously, I think everyone has that on. Auto open doors. This is the feature if you guys don't already have on, you guys want to make sure you do. Because with auto open doors, it's super clutch in case you miss uh, miss one of the bottom three edits and actually accidentally make a door. It doesn't slow you down. It doesn't kill any momentum. So it's definitely a setting you guys want to have on if you guys don't already. So definitely have this setting on. It is crucial to being able to edit and build fight very efficiently. And if you make a couple mistakes here and there, it's not going to cost you as bad as if you had the setting off. So another setting you want to have on is auto uh, auto sort consumables to the right. It's very easy to just pick up guns and you pick up minis and the minis go to the right side and then your guns stay to the left, which makes it easier to pull out right away. Confirm edit on release. A lot of you guys ask if I have this setting on or off. I do have this setting on. I find this setting very helpful because it kind of clears up a bind. You don't have to press the confirm button after you go for an edit so i really do like having that setting on and then my hud scale is on 80 percent which makes the hud like the map and the guns makes it a little bit smaller so you have a little bit more fov on your screen now the reason why you have auto open doors for those guys who are a little bit curious and maybe a little bit newer to the game which you, you want to have this setting on because in case you go for an edit on the bottom three squares you accidentally make a door as you can see you're able to run through the door pretty much with with minimal losing momentum versus if you had to open the door it would completely stop you and it would slow you down so in a build fight when every second matters if you don't have this setting on it could really cost you if you make a mistake now as far as my controller sensitivities these are the settings that i currently have and the settings that i found to work the best as of currently so as far as my build and editing editing sensitivity i have a 2.5 from both now this is a little bit higher you guys can play on maybe a 2.3 or 2.4 2.5 is definitely on the high end and i'm going to explain just in why a minute why i play on such a high building editing sensitivity now as far as my horizontal speed and vertical speed i play on a 44 percent on both now this is the lowest sensitivity i have ever played on personally i usually play on about a 48 percent 
give or take maybe 46 at the lowest, but I put on a 44% just because, like I said, they've nerfed aim assist three different times, and just hitting shots is such a pain now. Uh, not always, but there's a lot of instances where I just need to play on a lower sensitivity. This gives me a lot more control over my shots and allows me to get hit way more than I was before. So playing on a low sensitivity is extremely important because every time they make a nerf to aim assist, I think you should be lowering your sensitivity just because when they nerf aim assist, it makes it a lot harder to track. It makes it a lot harder to follow the other player. So when you lower your sensitivity, it kind of makes up the differences a little bit, not entirely, but it definitely helps out quite a bit. So I do play any 44% X and Y sensitivity. And the reason why I play on such a high building editing sensitivity is just because when it comes to fighting really hard players, tunneling up, box fighting, all that type of stuff, being able to whip out my builds, build very quickly from right to left is going to help me out a ton when it comes to getting third party. And for those of you guys who watch my live streams, you guys, I literally get third party every single fight. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. For those of you guys who watch my stream, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Every single fight, I get third party by two or three Four different guys, you got guys shooting RPGs across the map, kids camping in bush with sniper rifles trying to third party, I got people running over me with a helicopter, I mean it's just guy after guy, so in order to help, you know, protect myself a little bit from third partying, what I do is I play in a very high building editing sensitivity so I can tunnel up and build very fast, so if you guys think this is a little bit too high, totally understandable, I would recommend maybe a 2.3 or a 2.4 building and editing sensitivity instead of the 2.5 that I have, but I feel like 2.5 for me is just necessary with the amount of third partying, tryhards, box fights that I have every single game. So that's what I recommend and that's what I think is the best setting for building and editing. I'm able to edit very quickly, very efficiently with no problems whatsoever. So I really like these two sensitivities. I think they're very good and they are a little bit of adjustment. So I raised my building and editing as opposed to before and then I lowered my horizontal and vertical speed so i raised my building editing and lowered my horizontal and vertical so going down to my ads sensitivity i put on a 10 percent i found 10 percent to be the very best sensitivity if i change any sensitivities i probably won't be changing these at all just because i feel like 10 percent is the best mix between hitting long range shots and also being very accurate if you ads at close ranges so 10 percent is really good some of you guys might like like, like a nine percent or some of you guys might even go up to like a 12 or 13 percent but for me i think 10 percent is the best way to go so i play with no look damping time i might actually move this setting up a little bit in a couple days just just because I feel like I'm just missing more AR shots than I need to because of all the nerfs that are going on. But we'll see. Maybe it's just muscle memory and it's causing me to miss shots. Foot control, if you have this setting, definitely want to turn it off. It adds input delay to your game. So dead zones, 10%, 9%. And like I said, turn off your foot control settings. This adds input delay. You don't want to have this setting on. For the longest time, people say you should have it on. But trust me, have this setting off. It adds input delay to your controller and it makes everything less responsive. So those are all the new sensitivities that I have. I'll show you guys my binds in a minute if you guys are curious but with, like I said with all the changes it really is tricky to find the right sensitivity right away because a big problem that can have is just straight up muscle memory because if you're used to aim assist being really strong and they make it a lot weaker it's going to be a little bit strange to try to get used to the new settings I might actually experiment with trying out different sensitivities so for example I play on a 44 and 45 per, or 44 and 44 percent I might try out maybe having a little bit higher x sensitivity or maybe trying out a little bit higher y sensitivity i haven't really experimented with different senses in that aspect but i might actually give that a try and see if i like it or not but as of right now i really like having the consistency of having a 44 and 44 percent or 48 and 48 just having the exact same x and y sensitivity but i might actually change up my sense if i feel like that's necessary haven't really tried it in a while but maybe i'll give it a shot and so as far as my binds, if you guys are curious, I play four paddles. And as far as the paddles, I have my upper left paddle as my pickaxe, my bottom left paddle as my jump button, my upper right paddle as my edit button, and my bottom right paddle as my launch pad, traps, well traps aren't in the game, but launch pad, paddle. So those are just all the binds that I have on my paddles if you guys are curious. So like I said, upper left I have as my pickaxe, bottom left as my jump button, my upper right as edit, and then I have my bottom right as pulling out my launch pads. So if you guys have four paddles and want to try out my binds, definitely give it a shot. But if you guys play non-claw, non-paddle, or play claw, I have a ton of great bind videos. Literally just go to the YouTube search bar, type in Young Humor, non-paddle, best binds, or something like that, and you guys will find some of the best binds that I found in my opinion for that type of stuff. If you guys are curious, definitely just look it up. 
But those are pretty much all my sensitivities and binds that I currently have. Hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said, they nerfed aim assist three different times, so I'm still finding the best settings for me. These are the best settings I have currently. I still get quite a few wins. I'm still able to hit shots, but from time to time, my shots aren't as consistent as they were before. But hopefully very very soon they make all the right adjustments to aimuses hopefully they buff it a little bit because it feels really weak as i'm currently but with that being said that's wrap it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it make sure you guys do hit that like button make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already turn on those notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and as well, real quick, I do live stream every single day here on this channel at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's a ton of fun. I play solos every single day. So if you guys want to see me on live stream, make sure you guys do slap on the notifications. Like I said, every single day, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on this channel, I do live stream solos every day. So definitely come by if you guys haven't already. But with that being said, appreciate you guys watching the video. And all right, guys, I'll see you next video.